If there is one thing that is absolutely certain about Dale Wilson is that his main aspiration in life, the thing he wants to do the most, his dream is to become an actor one day. And not just an actor, a hyper famous, hyper successful, hyper loved actor, a la Will Smith. And if there is another thing to be known about Dale Emmanuel Wilson, is that that is never ever going to happen at all. Now to confirm that, I'll show you just four of his online posts here showing that he really, really, really wants to be an actor. Here he says, at the gym, reading actors Wikipedia pages for ideas on how to break in. This won't be an easy road at all, but I'm looking forward to it. And this here, man, this acting road will be the hardest thing I've ever tried to tackle in life. This whole world is extremely intimidating. Then this dumbass says, Harrison Ford didn't get his first real acting role until he was past 30. Just stay persistent and your show will come. And they'll, damn, I had no idea. I definitely will. Thanks for that. This 36 year old <laughs> thinking that he has a chance. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no 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 fucking way, boy. And here he says, man, I'm someone you could easily just literally throw in a Marvel or DC uniform and write into a movie. Fuck. And it's like, no. No, you're not. And he says, I would show my eyes so hard I'd steal all the camera time. <laughs> Sir, you are terrible at acting. And in a response to a tweet by the CW about the Batwoman show, he says, looking forward to the rest of the season, as well as being accosted in the season. <laughs> in the CW show. Remember the name? <laughs> the, the Lone Sparrow? <laughs> he was so serious. He was so serious. God, you know the funniest thing is, I was sure right after he tweeted this, he was he started popping locking in his room by himself. <laughs> just, just fucking dancing in celebrations. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so the first thing we have to look at in relation to Dale's possible acting career is cancel culture or like I more aptly refer to it consequence culture in our modern society if you are to, dis are to be discovered to have slights in the past that mar your record people will make a conscience effort to tear you down and make sure you lose all of your opportunities. And I have spoken to, this is not a joke, 17 individual people who have informed me that they have catalogued all of Dale's transgressions and they have them saved on folders, on their PCs, in the cloud, on Google Drive, all of it. 
so that if anything would ever miraculously happen and him get put in a show, a movie, or God, God willing, a commercial, they would blow that information up and Dale would get yanked so fast he used to say that he had a notebook full of rationale for everything he said but it doesn't really fucking matter and he also said that oh i'm gonna explain it to everybody that everything i said was a rebuttal to the things that trolls were saying to me you think people give a fuck dale you think in hollywood a director hiring a 36 year old if you were to get hired right now you're 36 36 year old nobody is going to take that risk when that information comes to light instead of just dropping you and hiring a new actor they remove matt damon from oceans 8 because of some minor thing he said during the me too movement you think they won't get rid of dale wilson mo delon sparrow from a movie because of the crazy things you said your things are minor you've threatened to kill people you've told people to kill themselves you've said crazy racist things you've had rape fantasies on stream it's over for you mate it's over there is no possibility that any director would take that chance on a no-name nobody. You'd be kicked off the project before you even shot one scene, Dale. Your transgressions are too many, and there are too many people who would see you fall. I'm sorry, but that's just the truth. So next we're gonna look at a few instances of Dale chatting about his potential acting career and we're gonna go ahead and laugh together about the fallacies he brings up and how impossible it's going to be. Here's another thing I was thinking about too. When it comes to acting, right? I don't know if any of you guys really dig deep down and really like look at the art of film and everything like that. So when you look at an actor, I was looking at famous people's uh, audition tapes for certain things. And uh, I was, I kind of started to look at acting in a different way. So you got to remember when you see your, your certain favorite actors in movies, you, it's crazy how, like how much help actors actually have. So you have certain angles to hit you. You have music, you have a theatrical, you have a theatrical, um, a theatrical base. There's so many things that can make an actor that maybe not, might not be that great look fucking phenomenal. So here we see Dale fucking figured out 30 years into life that making a movie is not just the acting. You need a lighting department. You need a sound department. You need a camera department. You need a lot of different people to make a movie. Apparently when Dale saw credits at the end of movies, those were too many words for him to see at the same time. And his little small retarded brain couldn't figure it out. What? what kind of revelation is this i mean i just fucking realized something did you know that in movies they're not just actors somebody gotta hold the camera <laughs> okay so the main reason you guys are here is because you're entertained obviously no matter what obviously for a long time i didn't even know my purpose on earth I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't know my purpose on earth. But regardless of the negative, the positive, clearly those numerous amount of troll videos, me getting casted in that show because of blah, blah, blah. It's for entertainment. It makes absolutely no sense for me not to take that same pull that I have for millions of people that want to watch me rage and shit like that to do it on camera. It makes no fucking sense for me not to be an actor. I always knew I wanted to do that type of shit when I was a kid, but I didn't know how to break out of a shell. I didn't under, I didn't know if people really wanted to fuck with me, this and that, but that's just proof. It's 
it's all proof, so. I don't know, we can't play Street Fighter tonight. Every he says this, but isn't it ironic that the only acting role he has ever touched in his entire life came from Street Fighter? It came from Street Fighter V, the fakest fighting game, game on the planet, according to Dale. The only time in his entire life he's been able to act in professional media was because of Street Fighter V. Like, come on, man. Like, I already know, like, I'm going to be the type of guy that gets killed in movies and shows, and I'm fine with that. But... I was put on earth to entertain people in any aspect possible. That's why I'm breathing. I'm on earth. Some people are on earth for a different purpose. I'm on earth because it allows angry people to channel their anger and have something to hate to feel better about themselves. And I'm here because I'm also able to provide people some sort of clarity. It's all in that same shit. You know how some people need something to hate to feel better about themselves. I'm that person that you can throw all your anger into me and it's not gonna affect me and I could just absorb it and absorb it and absorb it and I'm I'm just never gonna fuck with me. That's, uh, we know what it is. First of all, everything else he said after the initial bullshit was, I don't know what that was about, but him saying, I already know I'm gonna be the type of guy who's the die in movies. So you're not even gonna be the kind of guy who gets into movies. You know what, the acting thing, it is gonna work out, you know why? Because, uh, all I got to do is apply the same work work ethic as I did with this fucking whole low tier God shit into another realm. So why haven't you, Dale? Why haven't you applied it? You've been low tier God for years. That work ethic that you put in, you've been low tier God for years. Why haven't you? You haven't even 100k subs. And you're talking about the work ethic. Why haven't you applied it? Acting is your dream, mate. That's what you want to do more than anything. I don't get it. Apply that effort. Do it. Strangers, look, let me tell you something about myself. Strangers are the best way to steer you in a direction. When strangers tell you, we're talking about people that don't know you, what they can imagine you doing, that's what matters. Fuck with your family and you know, your friends say and everything like that. We're talking about people that don't know you IRL, don't know you for real. Now, before I let him get to how this pertains to acting, he has no friends and his family hates him. So that's all he has is for strangers, the people who don't know him at all, to give him compliments. And he thinks that has more value than the people who know you, who know what you're truly capable of, who can see your real potential. Susie from down the street who doesn't know who the fuck you are, looking at you and going, Oh yeah, you, 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 could, you, you could be an actor. That, that that's that's what motivates him that's all it takes because he has nobody when strangers tell you what you're destined for and what they can imagine you doing that means more than everything because strangers is what's going to buy into whatever you're going for if i'm if i'm doing voiceovers and people like it there is strangers that like it if i'm if i'm acting as strangers right what your family says means nothing because your family can lie to you your friends can lie to you, but people that don't know you? That's what matters. I think this is very funny. He says they let him go the first day. You lost a set five to one, you big bitch. They didn't let you go, you lost. They gave you the opportunity to win and you lost. So they sent your ass packing. And he's like, oh, we shouldn't have been the best street fight. That was the only appeal of the show. What else, why else would they have had you on there? It wasn't Real Housewives. It wasn't Love Island. It wasn't Temptation Island. It wasn't Survivor. It was fucking Street Fighter E-League. The point of the show was Street Fighter. So they had to focus on Street Fighter. What else did they, what, what, you want to see them see them, you guys kumbaya and you and Guilty in the middle of the night getting your, you know, little V-Trigger sessions on? My actual life is light years better than what it was in 2018. Like, light years better. I'm definitely not thinking about an E-League show two years ago. Yes, my nigga, it's been two years now. In February, it was two years since we did that show. Nobody got famous off that show. Nobody generated more clout. How about, let's go down the list. Exactly, exactly, Fierce. 
let's go down the motherfucking list about everybody that was on the e-league show tell me has anybody got famous or has anybody got even more popular since they got off the show besides myself I never tried Smoothie King, but if I do, I'll let you know. Who are the who, who are the fucking contestants? Why did niggas stop watching the show? I'm just I'm not throwing no type of shade. I'm just keeping it 100% factual. Why did people watch the show? Why did people watch that show? Because of me, they marketed the show based around me, and then allowed me to go home the first day. And then the show bombed after that. The show bombed because it was extremely bad editing. They didn't know how to actually film a reality show. The show should not have been predominantly about Street Fighter. You know how godlike the show would have been had they showed everything they were supposed to show? Nobody on that show got more famous after. Only person, only person that excelled in popularity since that show is myself. And it had nothing to do with the show. It had to do with my consistent grind as an individual. It had nothing to do with the fucking show. Nigga, who even knows who Commander Jesse is? That nigga's just still playing Street Fighter on with 32 viewers in a stream. Like, don't nobody know the fuck that is. Don't nobody care about JB. Nobody. Guilty streams only get two or three viewers, but got 15 plus K on Twitter. Didn't Guilty get a blue check? I, I don't even know. I'm not going to say shit about Deasha because that's my dude in real life. Rob TV and Deasha are my niggas in real life. But I'm just keeping it factual from a popularity standpoint. If they marketed the show and a good... So we here here's how it fucked up. We had a bum... We had a bum time slot, too. We came on late as fuck. People couldn't find the show. It wasn't in the directory. Didn't nobody know who the fuck it was. It was bad marketing. They didn't show any of our real entries. So here's where they fucked up, where we were all pissed off about. So when they did the show, when production came to my fucking apartment, we filmed shit all day. We spent the whole, day, we spent like half of the day filming for an intro. That little bullshit you guys seen where I said, this competition means everything to me. All that bullshit. It was so much more they were going to show. They had me pulling up my shirt, showing my abs, lifting weights, doing pull-ups. Nobody seen that. Again, the Wild Dale learns how film production works. Do you know how much raw footage they need for editing to eventually cut that down and make a show? They needed to record a bunch of nonsense so that when they edit it, they can have a bunch of nonsense to put in the show. What did you want? The show to be a 24 hour long show? They had to cut the shit out, but Dale knows nothing about that. He's like, why, why, why didn't they show my steroid abs, man? You know how hard it was to get these, these roids? It was some chopped ass bullshit that nobody got a chance to see the real shit. Everybody was pissed because our intros weren't even shown. I'm going to say this. 90%, 90% of the show got cut. 90% of everything you guys would have liked got cut out the show. Everything got cut. They only showed 10% of the dope shit that would have happened. It didn't show me, Deyasha, and Rob TB lifting weights. Hold on. It wasn't Rob TB. It was me, Deyasha, and uh, Commander Jesse. They didn't show our weightlifting session. They didn't show uh, this dope scene in the fucking goddamn where we were, me and uh, Guilty were arguing in the bus. They didn't show nothing that people want to see on reality. Competitions are cool, right? But the main thing, if you watch reality, it's about drama, and then we d we get down to business. How was that a reality show when they didn't even focus on the actual fucking reality? You know how disappointed... I didn't even watch the rest of the show. You know how disappointed I was when I seen that show? I think I watched two episodes. After that, I was tapped out. I was like, you know what? I don't even want to see it. I don't care how many times it might show me on camera. I'm not fucking with this show no more. 
They used, yeah, exa of course they used me for marketing, which they were allowed to do because, you know, it was a contract. I'm not going to say I didn't have a great fucking time. That was one of the best times I ever had in my life shooting the show. It felt like, like if that's how it feels to be famous, let me get it because you're treated like a king. You're treated like a king on that show. They did, they treated us like kings, man. We got everything we want. Like I felt like a kid again for the first time ever since I was a kid. Anything we wanted, we got it. I, I even did some weird shit. I was like, she said, guys, write down, write down what you want, and I'm going to get it for you guys. I put something slick. I was like, let me get a, a case of orange vi vitamin waters. This is how you know Dale is poor, and he's never interacted with any kind of high class situation in his life. He said, yeah, I did something slick. I said, let me get a case of jewels. <laughs> That is a basic ass fucking request. It would have been more interesting if it was like, hey, let me get a bowl of M&Ms, but I only want yellow M&Ms, so I need you to pick out the other colors. And they came back with a bowl of just yellow M&Ms. That would have been slick. That would have been boss. That would have been gangster. And I'm like, okay, that's pretty badass for him to get something like that. Man made a basic ass request. He said, can I have some vitamin water, please? And she was like, oh, yeah, that's fine. We have some in the truck. I mean, I don't even have to go anywhere. And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a celebrity. Came back with a case of orange vitamin waters. Rob TV wanted a do rag. They got it for him. It wasn't about how we were treated because we were treated like fucking stars on that show. We stayed in a big ass dope mansion style house in the middle of Atlanta in a beautiful neighborhood. We weren't allowed to go outside, obviously, unless it was the backyard. We were treated like fucking like royalty. Like that. That's how it feels to be famous. We got what we wanted. We did our jobs, and boom. Yes, it was a silk do-rag. But the production of the show was all wrong. That's my problem with the show. The production of the show was all wrong. It was completely wrong. That show, I'm telling you guys, if they would have used the real footage and edited it correctly, that show would have been freaking lit. Fuck the Street Fighter bullshit, that was going to come. But if they showed what we did throughout the day, what we were talking about, because we were being recorded like fucking 90% of the time. You guys missed out on a good show that was just edited poorly. Production just handled it poorly. That was a game show. It wasn't a reality show. Was it staged to be first? No. That nigga just felt like choosing me. And I knew I was going to get chosen first anyway. Because I had the most clout. So I already knew I was going to get chosen. I knew what it was already. But Rob is... Rob is a nigga that I still talk to th to this day outside of the show and everything. Like, that's my dude. He did what he thought was going to be a dope moment. And it flopped the show. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know? So first, the show flopped due to poor editing, but Dale had to find a way to bring it back to himself. Now the show flopped because he was so shit at the video game that he spends all of his time playing that he couldn't beat Rob TV because he couldn't adapt to a different matchup. Shut the fuck up. He did what he thought was going to be best for him and it flopped the show. It is what it is. But it was two years ago. I can give two flying fucks. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, right? You move on, you make money, you do what you gotta do. Like I said, I'm I'm in a way better life financially than I was when I did that show February 28, 2018. I'm a business, I'm a business major, I'm a businessman before anything. Like I'm a scholar, I got my bachelor's in business and management. Come on, man, you niggas think I'm stupid. No one thinks you're stupid, Dale. We all know. Like, I dead ass put myself in a position. Like, I put myself in a position. I'm not even bragging or anything. I dead ass put myself in a position where no matter what I do, niggas will follow. Not talking about you guys in the chat, talking about your followers. But no matter what I do, where I go, Whatever avenue, people will follow. That's the type of platform I built. To the point where it's cult, it's a cult following. To where so many trolls hate, they're so curious, they're going to follow me wherever I go. 
and they can't help it because they're that curious. I put myself in a beautiful spot. Do you realize all I got to do is open up the correct door at this point and it's over? That's all I got to do. That's why I'm so nonchalant and arrogant with it because that's all I got to do is open up one door and it's over. That's how close I am to being rich. All I got to do is open up one motherfucking door. I love this statement because if it's that easy, if it's that simple for you, if you are on the cusp of success that close, then why don't you? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you open that door? Take that success. Take that win. I think a lot of people, regardless of what I just did, right? A lot of people forget that I am a trained actor. Like I've taken acting classes, been acting school. But yeah, anyways. This idiot thinks some bullshit acting class at his local community college is enough to call himself a trained actor. Do I still think I'm gonna be streaming in two years? Shit, hopefully not. Olu out, still be streaming in two years if every single director told me no. And I don't think that's gonna happen. Matter of fact, I know that's not going to happen. I don't remember what the, when the stream is from. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure time is up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure time is up. Oh, time is getting very close to being up. Why would you talk out your ass when you have no facilities? Inspire me to hit the gym even more. Marvel movies and DC movies and shows. Here I come. This logic makes no sense from Dale, but he has parroted this logic time and time again. He has said that because his upper half of his body is physically fit, that that makes him already on track to get into Marvel movies and DC movies and shows and all that. But let me show you a few examples. Look at Chris Evans before and after the Captain America role. Look at Chris Hemsworth before and after the Captain America role. Look at Chris Pratt. He was the fat guy in Parks and Rex. But look at him now after becoming Star-Lord. And look at Robert Downey Jr.'s past of being arrested with drugs and having a felony and the studio taking a chance on him. If the studio wants you, they will pay for your workout regimen. They will pay to get you fit. They will put you in the gym because of your acting prowess. They're not gonna see a brolic guy and go, yep, he needs to be our next superhero. They don't give a fuck. You know how many strong men there are at the gym, you dickhead? You know how many people there are with muscles at the gym? You think a Disney or Marvel exec is just like, all right, let's go down to Planet Fitness and see if we can find our next superhero. That's not what they're looking at, you dumb bastard. They're looking for talent, what you have none of. Let's look at a few more clips. Pluto, this was the cat's name, was my favorite pet and playmate. I alone fed him and he attended me whenever I went about the house. It was even with difficulty that I could prevent him from following me through the streets. One night, returning home, much intoxication from one of my haunts about the town, I fancied that the cat avoided my presence. I seized him. When in his fright at my violence, he inflicted me with a slight wound upon my hand with his teeth, the fury demon instantly possessed me. What is this crap? <laughs> This is some bullshit, man. <laughs> oh my days, what is it? Oh, I see the cat. I notice a fearing her name and possess me. Oh. <laughs> this sucks. So this was a brief clip, it was a fight scene from, I don't know what kind of bullshit indie project he was doing, but this thing never took off, but I just think it's so funny looking at how garbage this little scene is. I saw three accounts today. And he asking me to sell five? All I know is I'm 
windows that kitchen. Better be clean, man. Not feel like coming home with some dirty ass shit. Sir, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where there's great value BET scene game room, but <laughs> I think Technicals said it best when he described Dale's act. One of the major things I heard before even looking into Low Tier God from a lot of people, most of the people would say, ah, it's all an act. He's, an, he's acting. He's an actor. Well, I looked at his acting reel, and I gotta say, I'm not too convinced. Got the study guy with the answers? Um, of course, Jack Queen. Do you have the currency that was promised? Of course I do, my nigga. I got the bread right here. You thought I was gonna jiff you or something? The fuck? Out of all of the characters that I've seen Lotirga try to play, a nigga from the streets seems to be the only natural character he can bring to light. Sorry, correction. An angry nigga from the streets. Um. So what's good, my nigga? You got the steady guy with the answers? Um, of course, Jack Queen. Do you have the currency that was promised? Of course I do, my nigga. I got the bread right here. You thought I was gonna jiff you or something? The fuck? All right, thanks. Well, gotta go. Wait, hold on, my nigga. You can't stay for a little second and conversate with a nigga? Hold on, you got a minute? What's on your mind, Jack Queen? Look at the talent. Look at the talent. He played two phenomenal roles just there. Stereotypical hood black guy and stereotypical nerd. What a fucking genius, oh my god, when is this Oscar coming? When is this man gonna get the accolades he deserves? Wait, one second, Tony? Tony, Tony, what, what, what? what the fuck are you doing? Wait, what I'm the, playing What the fuck are you doing pressing buttons? What, what Why are fuck, you playing? On, what the fuck are you doing pressing buttons through my interview? What do you what? mean? Who the hell are you? He, you're supposed to be taking the this, trash out, this, this is LTG, why are you? Who's LTG? This, this Lord of the Rings, Fredo, fucking Target vest. You do kind of look like Frodo. Hot belly. What the fuck is what the fuck is this guy doing? Uh, and I, on top I, of that, I honestly have no on, idea. On top of that, he's using Balrog. What the fuck is? <laughs> <laughs> this is so crap. His improv skills are so trash. <laughs> The other guy was like, "Man, this is fucking weak," and he tried to cut him off. And I was like, "Wait, no, hold on, I got more to say." <laughs> on top of that, he's using Bora. <laughs> I still want to show America that there's only one content creator that can really play this damn game. Oh. So me and Lotier got it. The oh, first man. person that you picked. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, just to be clear, you know, you said you know you haven't traveled to us a lot of tournaments. Yeah. But you know, I've been up there on the stage, and you know, I have I've caught bodies up there oh, with whole. I don't care. You know, I've been to Detroit, Yumacon, Alucard, all those dudes, footwork, all them yelling down my neck. What did I do? I bodied them. I got up, I walked off, and I finished it in the end of the day. NEC and all that. Second place. I don't know if you have you got a top eight at a major. Don't answer. I just thought this was funny because this E-League experience was terrible. So let me let you in on a little insight about reality TV shows. Every little one-on-one -on -one you see with the camera, 90% of the time it's filmed way after the, the events of the show. So the things you're seeing when they're talking about the one-on-one, -on -one, the one they're like, I'm thinking about punching this motherfucker in the face. It's filmed way after that event happened. They're basically just recounting all of those events and saying, okay, what were you thinking at this time? Go through your emotions at this time. Show me how you were feeling at this time. And Dale is so bad at it in comparison to Rob. Rob, his cadence, the way he speaks, it seems like it's fluid and normal for him. Dale looks consistently nervous and scared the entire time. But with that being the case, you know, I've gotten second there, just got ninth at KIT, and that's four majors I've been to total. So that tournament experience right there, I'm telling you, is going to come back to haunt you right now. And even if you are completely comfortable, I'm just better than you. <laughs> mm -hmm. The speeches don't matter. Hey, what yeah. matters is if you can pull off the victory from somebody you thought was going to be an easy battle. If you lose to me, do you realize that you're going to be complete? Stop. This is what I'm talking about. Doesn't it sound so forced and like unnatural? The speeches don't matter. What matters is the battle. And if you close to me, I don't know. Like, what are you talking about? Why can't you sound like a normal person? 
because you're a shit actor, Dale. But that's really all I have to say about that. Dale does not have what it takes to become an actor. He doesn't have the talent. He doesn't have the chops. He doesn't have the dedication. He doesn't have the gusto. He doesn't have the heart. He doesn't have the personality. All he has is failure. And that's all he will ever have in his entire life. You won't ever get to Hollywood, Dale. I'll get to Hollywood before you do. <laughs> Isn't that sad, Dale? Does that hurt you, you 36-year-old bitch? <laughs> Behave, 